Hello everybody, this is Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and today I'm going to be showing you how to create some beautiful backgrounds using our colour box inks and brushos. Uh, I was having a play the other day with the jelly plate, colour box brushos, fan brush, brayer and came up with some really beautiful results. Um, I, I really think that um, you're going to love this. It's fascinating how they react together, giving you a really gorgeous organic background. So to start with, I'm going to be using the banana and green apple colour box. Using the brayer and then inking up. The beauty about the colour box is that they don't bead on the jelly plate uh, as with some of the inks on the market. This is why I tend to use them. They give you a really nice smooth finish. Okay, so this is the green apple. So I'm just going to blend those two colours together for our background initially. This is so quick and easy. I think that's why you, you guys are going to love this. I know I do for its quickness. So I've got lime green, purple and rose red in the brushos. But of course have a play uh, with the brushos that you have got. You know just try colour combinations. You'll be surprised actually what does work. So taking the lime green to start with, I'm just going to pop a little on my mat. If you want to use a palette that's fine. I'm just sort of getting messy here as I do. Okay, fan brush and then we're just going to start spattering a little bit of colour onto the jelly plate over the top. Wipe that up and then moving on to the next colour. We're going to use some rose red. Now obviously the more water you put on it's going to create a different background so again play with that add more water, use less, take prints it's about playing uh, you, you know with the backgrounds yourself and seeing what works for you so I'm going to pick up some of this again using the fan brush and then Just give that a little bit of a spattering again. Wipe this up and then moving on to the purple. The brushos are just so intense, absolutely love the colours. And you never really know what you're going to get until you take that print. And I think that's, that's just pure excitement on uh, seeing what effects actually come out. I'm going to be using the Super Smooth card, the Multifarious that we have. This is fantastic for um, taking water, taking the amount of water that we, we use. Uh, it doesn't buckle, so it's brilliant for that. And plus the fact, because it's really smooth, it means we can stamp onto this and it gives you an absolutely perfect image. So it's really good card and worth considering using. 
Okay, so we're going to pop that down. We're going to trim it anyway, so don't worry about getting it, you know, too central. Smooth that over. And look at that. Wow. Isn't that just the best background? So organic. I just love it. Absolutely love it. So that's the first one that we've done. I'm going to put these aside to dry and then we're going to stamp over the top later.